What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today we're finally filming with the Red Raptor. I finally found an adapter for it so I can put my DZO Vespit Primes on it and everything looks absolutely amazing. This camera is a beast. And if you have seen my two latest videos with this camera, you know that I'm very excited to shoot with it because I unboxed it, I put all the accessories on it and I was super excited to shoot with it, but I didn't have an RF to EF adapter. So we're gonna shoot with this bad boy in 8K, 6K, even 4K and all those resolution because we wanna test out how good the image looks and how good this camera is on slow motion. And as you know, red cameras are used in a lot of extreme sports, a lot of beautiful documentaries and so on. So I'm really curious to see how this camera looks in slow motion. The only problem is I don't have any friends here, so I'm gonna have to ride the bike myself and Cheaper is gonna have to film me. So I don't know how the image is gonna look, so you're gonna have to be a judge on this one. One thing that I wanna say before we start shooting is that our lighting conditions are horrible. And if this camera looks gorgeous on these lighting conditions, it's gonna be so cool. So let's find out. All right, guys, so what do you think about the red footage? Does it look gorgeous or not? Obviously, as much as we go down in resolution to get more frames, it doesn't look so good, but we're gonna go and shoot more with this camera in a more controlled environment and see exactly how it performs. Let's go. All right, so the gym footage turned out pretty amazing, right? Well, I realized something about the RED Raptor and in general about RED cameras. There is like a learning curve about these cameras that you kind of have to learn before you manage to make amazing images with it. First, when we shot the bike scene and all the slow motion shots, I don't think we had the perfect settings because the footage didn't turn out as we expected. I was looking at the footage and I was a little bit disappointed, but after I tweaked the settings of the camera and made a few improvements in terms of image, when I went to film the gym footage, everything was at another level. And the gym footage, as you saw, turned out pretty amazing. Well, now that I know the perfect settings for this camera and how it performs, we're gonna go shoot more with it and we're gonna stress test its dynamic range because we're gonna shoot in an environment where there's a lot of sun and shadow. So let's try it out.
my god, what an image. The footage coming out of the red raptor with the anamorphic lens is on another level. I was so freaking excited when I was shooting this. I was like looking at the monitor and I couldn't believe the image and how good everything was looking. It was absolutely mind blowing. Also with the spherical lenses, it looks amazing as well. And the dynamic range of this camera is mind blowing. I was able to maintain the sun and not blow it up and also have a lot of details in the shadow. That is absolutely mind blowing. So what we're gonna do right now, because I don't wanna keep this review really long, I wanna also try this camera on low light. So I'm gonna go on the street and I'm just gonna shoot randomly in the street light without any additional lights and I'm gonna try and see how it performs and how good it is in low light. I'm a sushi, kind of sushi, yeah, too. Feeling like you're feeling mutual. Uh. Blessing me with essence is unruled. And testing me to see if I'm the one to make you move. Well, I can make you move. Well, we can try a little, see if you could catch the groove. But I'm sure that you can. Yes, I fucking can. We're moving parallel the new way. So, it seems that the Red Raptor is actually a really good low light camera. I was pretty amazed to see how clean this camera is in such low light conditions. If you don't know, Romania street lighting is really dim compared to other countries lighting. So in our country, lights are very dimmed down on the street. So it's really hard to film at night. But with the Red Raptor, I was quite amazed on how much power it had. I would say that ISO 800 is a little bit different than ISO 800 on different cameras that I've tested. I think it's a little bit more sensitive and it has more power in the ISO. And also the shadows are so much cleaner than what I've seen on other RED cameras. I would say probably this is the cleanest RED camera I ever tested. And I really enjoyed it, to be honest. I really enjoyed shooting with this camera. The whole process was really beautiful. Everything felt supernatural when holding the camera in your hand. The only thing that was a little bit weird was keeping focus on such a big sensor. So the Red Raptor has a bigger sensor than full frame. It's just a little bit bigger. And when you put lenses and you want to shoot wide open, it's super difficult. With Sony cameras, obviously you have autofocus and it's super easy, but this sensor is a little bit bigger than a Sony camera sensor. so it makes it even harder. And especially with the DZO Vespid Prime lenses, which are super soft, it's even harder to keep focus. So I was really excited to work with this camera and I actually shot more footage with it, which I'm gonna post later on on this channel. So I also used some really old vintage lenses on the Red Raptor, which is gonna be very exciting and a lot more test. I suggest you subscribe to this channel to see a lot more Red footage and Red test. And if not more camera tests in general, because I test all sorts of cameras like Sony Venice, Sony FX6, Zcam E2F6, and all these crazy cameras that you find on the internet. So I'm Alexander Don. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, make sure you have some fun shooting. Cheers. Testing me with essences I'm rude And testing me to see if I'm the one to make you move Well I can make you move